Hello, Brian Lynch here. I'm out at the orchard and it's uh, June 23rd, uh, which means that once again it's Japanese beetle season here in northwestern Indiana. Ugh. Uh, last year I started off by just hand picking them off my trees and vine, and uh, I was killing them by the thousands, but it just wasn't effective in protecting my trees. Uh, it was also really time consuming, uh, so I ended up putting up a Japanese beetle trap. And, unfortunately, that also wasn't effective. Uh, so I ended up spraying malathion around the trees and around the trap, and uh, some of the trees that were hit hard by the beetles, like the uh, green gauge, even got a dose of 7 or carbaryl powder. This year, I'm trying a different approach. Instead of just trying to draw the beetles away from my trees with a single trap, I'm putting up 15 traps spread over my 5 acres in hopes of putting a meaningful debt in the Japanese beetle population. In researching Japanese beetles, I found a lot of articles and opinions saying that putting up a trap isn't effective because it's just going to attract more beetles than it's going to catch. Uh, that the traps aren't 100% effective uh, is pretty obvious, and uh, it's one of the reasons that uh, I put down a layer of pesticide around the trap last year. Now, while there are a lot of articles disparaging the traps, uh, there are also some that would have a single line uh, sort of tucked away at the end of the article saying that the traps can be effective in a coordinated neighborhood effort. And that's sort of what I'm doing with my orchard. Another thing I found interesting is that uh, the recommended density of traps on this uh, bag is a whopping 8 traps per acre. Which means with 15 traps on my 5 acres, I'm still only at 40% the recommended density. I don't think I've ever seen that many traps being used uh, that densely. And uh, that might explain uh, why there are so many negative comments about the traps. June 30th, 2012, it's now a week later, and uh, the traps have certainly caught a large number of Japanese beetles. Uh, but the important thing is not uh, how many beetles are inside of the traps, it's uh, how many beetles are outside of the traps. And uh, overall, my general impression so far is that the number of beetles has declined a bit. I can't really put a quantitative uh, number to it, but uh, just looking at this tree, which seems to be pretty representative, uh, there's a little bit of uh, damage up at the higher leaves, and I think there's a Japanese beetle right over here happily munching away. Focus. Uh, but uh, I'm seeing one to maybe three or four Japanese beetles per tree. Uh, it's not enough to uh, justify spraying, in my opinion. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the preliminary results of the uh, large number of traps, and uh, hopefully this, uh, these results will continue. July 7th now, uh, 2012, uh, two full weeks into the uh, Japanese beetle project, and uh, overall I'm still quite pleased with the results. Uh, it has been quite dry, so that might be uh, affecting the uh, Japanese beetle population a bit, but uh, I'm not seeing anywhere near the number of beetles I saw last year. I'm seeing maybe one or two per uh, tree, and uh, you know the da there is obviously some damage, but uh, in general, I'm pretty happy with uh, how the trees are holding up so far, and uh, still don't feel the need to spray.